Okay, so let's look at a really useful new feature in our Microsoft Teams. Now, the way you can see this is by going to your team, going to your class, and clicking on Class Notebook up here. The first time you go on Class Notebook, it might take a little while to load, but after that first time, it should start happening a little bit quicker. Now, here's the important things. You press that button I just did over there, it takes you to um, all the different areas of your, of your Class Notebook. One that's really important is our content library. The content library is going to be stuff put there by me, put there by your teacher that you can access. So we've got some pages here on describing waves. And we can go back here and look at all of that for revision. Yeah. So there's going to be useful things you can find there. Think of that basically like your access, uh, your a textbook. And that's got all the information for coming from your teacher, coming from other sources that you can check out. You can't edit these, but you don't need to. These are things you can just read or videos and clips you can watch. We can press that button again over here and we can get to another important bit. Down here would say your name. This is just a test account, but this would say your name and that will be your workbook. And now this is going to be a really important part. The part says classwork, student work, something like that. You can hop into that over there and then you can start creating new projects. So I'm going to start doing today's work. So I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to call that today's project. And so I can choose to do all my work in here. Yeah, so it's all safe and it's all in one place. So here is my work. It is about today's project. Wonderful. And it works just like a Word document. It can slot everything in. So that's really good and that's really useful. And you've got that stored right over here with all your student work. Yeah. Now, what you can do after you've done that is you can right click on your work over there. You can copy a link to this page. We can go back to the assignments, right? Wait for our assignments to load. Here's my assignment I have to do. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to add my work. I'm going to add a link. I'm going to paste what I just copied before in there. A link to my work in notebook. I'm going to hit attach. And then I'm just going to hit that hand in button on the top. And now all our work safe in one safe in one place. It's gone to our teacher, and we have access to all of those wonderful resources we can use for revision over on the side there. Whoops, over on the side there in the in the content library. Yeah, and it'll be updated with new stuff you can keep checking back to over the course of your entire um, syllabus that you do in your class. So hopefully that's something we can find useful and a new place to not only put our work and keep it organized digitally, but also a new place to find loads of information for when you're doing research and when you're doing revision and stuff like that.